Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. Let's understand the requirement that I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So I'm going to demo you how you can redirect to newly created record in ScreenFlow. So one of my viewer uh, asked me like uh, he got a requirement and he want implementation for the same requirement. So as per the request, I'm creating this video. So uh, first we need to create a contact through screen flow. So I will be creating a flow uh, that will be uh, creating a contact. Then uh, flow should be able to redirect on newly created record. And uh, uh, we need to place the flow on the home page. So if I take you to the org, so here I'm going to search for the flow. So I already uh, created a flow for another demonstration, which is already available on the home page. So I'm going to search for it and I will be modifying this flow for you. So this is the screen flow, which is uh, like here you can see receiving contact information and creating the contact record. So if I double click on it, so this is of type text. So text, you can search here and click. It will be available. You can provide a first name, uh, sorry, label as first name and API will be available. Then similarly, you can create a last name of a type text, fill the label API. Then phone is of type phone. Sorry, phone is also type of type text and label is phone, API is phone. Email is also of type text. And here uh, label, email, API name, email is available. Then this is account name, it is a lookup. So here you can search for lookup, click on it, it will be available. And this way you can fill the details. API is ACC, field API, account ID, label account name, object API contact. So this account ID is the lookup field that is available on the contact object. So that I'm using here. So basically we are creating a contact. So that is why that lookup will be available on the screen and we will be able to select a account. So this way, this is a screen. Now here you can see create contact element is available. Here I selected one, then use separate resources and literal values, then object as contact. Then account ID I linked with ACC and dot record ID, which we uh, created as a lookup on the screen. Then email, first name, home phone, last name are linked sim uh, similarly. Now here I need to create one more variable where I will be storing the newly created contact ID. So I'm creating a variable, then API name is contact ID, type is text and done. So this contact ID I will be using uh, so that I can redirect to the newly created record. So just click on plus screen, then here, redirect to new record. So here I'm just searching for display text, click on it. So display text will be available here. So this will be the text and uh, click here to open, open contact. So I'm selecting it and clicking on this. So it will be creating a link. So here I need to write slash then curly base exclamation. And here I'm writing the API name of the variable that I created, which will be storing the newly created contact ID, right? So before slash this URL, like your org URL. Uh, so in my org, this is the domain. So text Sanjay Gupta hyphen dash hyphen ed dot lightning dot force dot com. So it will be available automatically. And after that, uh, this slash and that uh, contact ID will work. So I just need to place it again. So this way, this is a link which is created now and I'm clicking on done, clicking on save as, save, activate, right? So this redirect to new record screen is available and it will work as well. So I'm moving here and doing a refresh. So from here, I'm going to create one contact. So 
so i am entering dummy phone number i am entering uh, let's say my email id sanjaygupta.techschool@gmail.com uh, selecting one account and clicking on next oh, so it is showing some error so i think uh, there should be an email so whenever your flow fails so you will receive an email so that we can verify why it is failing so here you can see a uh, field custom validation exception alert duplicate record found okay so actually in my org i have a duplicate rule so i just need to modify that so i created a contact duplicate rule okay but it is deactivated let me see Duplicate rule is already deactivated. Why it is failing? Okay, so maybe what I can do instead of uh, providing that email ID, I'm going to provide another email ID so that uh, we can just verify. So I'm providing test at the rate test.com. And I'm clicking on next. So here you can see you will find a link. Click here to open record. So if you click on uh, this link, so your newly created record will be opened in the new tab. So you can see contact tab is opened and the newly created contact John Davidson is available here. If I go to details, so I will be able to view all the details. So just skip that uh, error part because it was because of some duplicate rule. So in your case, it won't be breaking because you won't be having any duplicate rule implemented. So uh, this is the way like in your flow, if you create this kind of screen, having uh, this have hyperlink uh, along with this variable. So you will be able to redirect to the newly created record. So uh, I hope uh, this way, like if any of the, project if you find same uh, requirements so you will be able to resolve that now thank you